What is the crack, lads? We are back. Episode, I think this is going to be episode 17 or 18. I'm not too sure yet, depending on how many matches I can get in. But we are on our lunch break and we are going to be trying to buy a player. So I've been thinking about what I should do in my defense and I've been thinking about what to do. And I want to play out the season first. So obviously the season is over tonight. So Thursday's season two is going to kick off. I'm not too sure if there'll be like a couple of days maintenance with the servers or, or what's going to happen, um, whether it'll be a transition straight from season one to season two. But we know that season two is coming in the next couple of days. So I've been kind of thinking to myself, you know, I'm going to play out one match or one season. If I get up to Division 1, brilliant. If I don't, we go again in Season 2. You know, it is what it is. Um, but I do think I am a little bit light kind of in the back. So I am going to buy Davies, right? The formation that I'm playing, he can play anywhere. So he can play left back, left mid or left wing. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to shove Maldini over from that left centre back position over to the right centre back position to have a bit of solid uh, cover there. And I'm going to put Davies straight in left back and move Corona back up right mid and then have Neymar and Diaz kind of alternating whoever's up. So we do have a lot of money, as you can see there. We have 150,000 GP. I'm probably going to do the events offline if I get a chance and get maybe another 50 or 60,000. So for this price, I don't think I can go wrong with Davies, lads. He's an absolute unit in the game. I don't need to train him up too much just once I get him up, up wide um, with my player progression. Um, I'm gonna have to plug in my controller here now in a second, so I'll be I'll do that and I will be back in a second. Um, but yeah, we can kind of just slot him in very easily into the squad, as you'll see here. Um, one sec. All right, so as you guys can see from his stats here, we're just gonna we need to train him up. He's already 71 out wide, so we need really need only three points for that. So I'm gonna train him up here and I'm gonna give him one of these, which will bring him up, and I'm gonna bring him up maybe halfway. Um, I don't want to go like mental with him. But we'll bring him up to maybe around that. So that should be plenty of uh, training for him. And we can see that he's gone up to level 28. And then all I'm going to do with this is go to the player progression. And go to out wide. We're going to boost that up to 99. But uh, as you can see lads, he's gone up to a massive... He's going to be 89 overall. And we can get him up to pretty much like a 91 overall player I think. Because uh, we've still got a couple of levels to go. Um... So, I mean, he's going to slot in here, as you'll see. And then we're going to have Davies here. So, Corona's going to go up here. I think Corona's on a C form. Monain is obviously going to get the start as well. We'll actually put Monain in here, lads, as right mid. That's a problem position for us. And then we're going to put... Who am I going to be taking off? Um, I'd probably take off Aminas, or will I take off... Yeah, I'll probably take off him and then put him on my reserves. So we've got Davies to come on here. And that up, ups the team as well. So the only player really letting us down now, I've also changed this to put Pedri down here because when Pedri is kind of down at the moment, um, Nakata can come on there and play as a centre midfielder kind of. So again, as I said, I'm not expecting to, you know, to win, to win, get up the divisions. But if we do, we're going to go straight into a division match here. We need, I think if we get another four wins, that would put us on 18 points. I'd be happy enough to stay in division two and that'd be it. But we do want to push for the division ranking. So we are going to go straight into a match and I will see you guys at kickoff. All right, let's, so we've matched up and I think we're playing a division one player with an unbelievable team. Yeah, he's playing meta, 4-2-1-3, three, three strikers up front. I'm going to struggle, lads. I mean, I'm going to struggle against guys like this um, that are good at the game, that have a really good team. Um, he's got Donna in goals. He's got Fiera. He's got Maradona. Uh, he's a division one player. So yeah, I mean, he's used to winning, winning games. And as I said, you know, it's not all about winning. It's about having a having a good game. Um, let's see who's on the bench. So we've got Munayin. A couple of games that I've played have literally been, you know, I, I've literally just not been able to do anything, whether it's been connection issues or latency issues or just, you know, coming up against somebody that is playing in a certain way that it's very, very, very hard to defend. You know, it's very, very hard to defend against three center forwards, but... The whole role of this and the whole goal of this uh, series is not for me to get to Division 1 to show, you know, that I'm a beast of a player because <laughs> I'm not. You know what I mean? You guys are probably watching me and a lot of you are probably better than me. I make a lot of mistakes. Um, but it's just about having a bit of crack and having a bit of content to put out that you're enjoying playing. You know, and I'm usually a co-op player, so I'll be doing a lot of co-op stuff um, over time and trying to get you guys involved in tournaments and co-ops and playing whoever. Um but yeah, it's all about kind of, I think, you know, playing the, playing the way you want to play. 
And once I'm able to do that, and I, if I lose 10 nil, like if I if I lose 10 nil to this guy, um, you know, I'm happy once I can play my game. And I know that kind of sounds a bit silly, but um, you know, I'm playing on my lunch break, so you know, it doesn't matter win, lose, or draw. It's just about having a having a good game so that I'm not sitting here wasting my time, you know. There's the outlet. There we go. He's bombing forward. Super bomber. Romario! Of course he misses. Now, the thing I want to know about there, right, is why does Romario take that with his right foot? And why does he fall on the ground sliding? Maybe I should have taken more of an angle out of it. It is my first game of the day. And we will probably regret those chances. Oh, come on, Pedri, will you stick the leg out, like? Lads, that is killer. That is absolute joke, like. That is an absolute outrage. Like, what am I meant to do there, like? Do you know what I mean? Like, what am I meant to do? I miss a chance up top. Okay, grand, it's my own fault. That's fair enough. But my days... Oh, man. This is... This is going to be a rage. I can, I can sense it coming. Oh, that's a dangerous ball in. Oh, Donna, I told you, Donna doesn't like those ones. <laughs> Now, technically, he should be at a loss inside. If I can get the ball in, Vieira! Oof! All right, let's readjust. Let's readjust. But yeah, I think that chance at the start, lads, just summed up, summed up the start of the game there. Nah, it's just not my day, lads. You can't miss chances like that against good players. You can't miss chances like that against bad players. Like, I should have two goals. Like, it's my own fault. On Davies, I haven't even seen you yet. It sums it up, doesn't it? Yeah, keep doing your double touches. <sighs> yeah, I'm trying to get back with Vieira, but it's not working. It is what it is, lads. Look, you're going to come up against guys like this that just have your number. It's as simple as that, you know, and I can, all, I can do all the complaining that I want out, out of it. Like, I'm ripping this guy apart. Like, he's a good player, but he's not, you know, like, look at that from Romario. I mean, Romario is 95 overall. Do you know what I mean? A simple pass back and... Oh, lovely ball. Ah, oh, it's good defending. Yeah. Oh, you're fantastic. You're a brilliant player. And as I say, lads, I mean, this guy thinks by acting the Muppet that, you know what I mean, doing his tricks and his flicks when he's 2-0 up, that I'm going to quit. Like, I'm not going to quit. Like, I mean, I'm here to play a game. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't matter to me if I win, lose, or draw. Once you accept that you're going to lose games and you're going to get absolutely screwed in some games, like, it becomes, it loses all its power. Do you know what I mean? It becomes irrelevant. That's better. Oh, what play. Oh. <laughs> it's just one of these games, lads. It is what it is. <laughs> Down inside and goals. Pity he doesn't do that for me, he'd spill it. Good push, good press from him. Yeah, he's class. He's trying to get me to quit. I know he is. Fair enough. He can do what he wants, lads. Oh, cruncher. There we go. That'll teach him. Ah, no way! How is that a red? How is that a red? Oh, my days. I've never seen a red given for that, lads. But sure, look, it is. It's the day that's in it. We're not going to get promotion from Div, Div 2 in, out of this game. My phone is ringing now, lads. My phone is ringing. Hello? Keeper. Ah, oh, it's super defending. But yeah, I'm gonna take this as a practice lesson, lads. I mean, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take too much out of it. I, sh I could have won this game, even though this guy's a very good player. I love those passes. Oh, what a ball. Maldini. Nene! Yay! 
away we get one back lads we get one back too little too late but yeah I think if I play this guy again I think I probably beat him um, good player got a bit lucky with the goals we're not going to dwell on it too much to be honest with you we're going to go straight back into another game I should get one or two more in before my lunch is over um, but yeah I mean as I said once you take the power out of somebody like trying to annoy you um, it becomes irrelevant now we do have Pedri that kind of causes a bit of an issue with us the cat is going to have to play All right, lads, so we need a win here. If we don't win here, it's over. We can't, we can't, uh, we can't get up promotion. So we've already lost two. So if we lose this one, um, we have, well, we can still do it technically, you know what I mean? But uh, this guy is a division one player. He's a very good player. Um, I'll just be careful of the, of the spam through. Maybe not. All right, we got that covered. Expecting a big game from the Kata today. This guy's already doing the tactics. The game's only on two seconds. Could be in for a world of pain here today, lads. Romario! Oof, all right, we didn't get the look the last time, lads. I, I just need to be able to... Pa I need to be able to finish this game if I get chances. He's obviously afraid of the wings because he's in cut down completely. He hasn't that cut down, though. Great ball! Oh, lads, that's brilliant ball in. Come on, Neymar. Ah, Corona. It's killer, lads. It's killer. We can't be making mistakes like that. But at least that's my own mistake. You know what I mean? At least that's on me. I should have just got rid of the ball right here with Corona. Pass it back to Maldini and just boot it. I'm being too cute with it. Against good guys, you just can't do it. Ah, oh, it's beautiful. What a goal! Get in! Come on! Come on! Ah, oh, give me the look. Give me the look. Oh, come on! Like Jesus Christ! Can I get a? F can I get a break? Like seriously. Do I have to fight so hard for every, every single goal I get? Go on, just give him a goal. Just, man, it's so frustrating. Like, rip a, rip a player apart, and I just don't get rewarded for it. Super annoying. What more can I do there, like? Apart from score. <laughs> nine isn't it like I mean what can I do there genuinely what more can I do I've absolutely defended that perfectly do you know what I mean it's just super frustrating super frustrating oh lads I'm telling you I'm putting it up to this guy boy I'm putting it up to him big time he's gone fully blue as well no cancel 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 Woo. I'm gonna knock this on now, Paddy V. Oh. oh, I thought I'd catch him flat. It's great defending. This guy's a really good, a solid, classic Italian defensive masterpiece from both of us, I think. Being honest, ah oh man, I've made a couple of silly mistakes though. Roll him. Roll him. Romario! <laughs> what a 
goal! <laughs> what a goal! Deserved it, lads. Deserved it. Phone's ringing. Who is it? It's probably somebody trying to sign me. They can wait. Now we go in and we do the tactics. Now we go in and we play him in his own game. Let's see what he's rocking. He's still rocking the 4 2 1 3. The cat has been outstanding, lads. He has been outstanding. I'll be honest with you. Substitution. Oh, I got a touch on it. Get back to you. Get out, Piol. Piol. Dangerous ball, Aldini. Uh, what the hell happened there? What happened there? Um, why does this game continue? Oh, I don't know, man. Yeah, kick off. Nah, it's just not our game, lads. It's just not our day. I mean, I absolutely... <sighs> I'll probably lose now, wait and see. Hold on, Davies. This game is so annoying, man. I definitely didn't deserve to draw that game. I played as well as I possibly could play. I mean, let's go in and have a look at this highlight because I genuinely just feel like I'm getting absolutely screwed. I tried to boot the ball with uh, Davies there at the end. I mean, what more am I meant to do? This, like, brilliant defender. I'm trying to press it. I'm pressing it here. What is he doing? What is he actually doing? It's ridiculous, like. It's so, sh it's so frustrating. It's super frustrating. I'm absolutely getting screwed, lads. Screwed. And a quick like, that would have been a huge win for us. We would have had 10 points. We would have had, like, 12 to get. Four games win. Ugh, I don't know, man. I just don't know, like... Ugh, I'm just... I'm down in the dumps, lads. I'll be honest with you. I'm really down in the dumps after that one. I mean, that would have been a huge three points, like. A huge three points. The mood is down, lads. The mood is down. It's just that unresponsiveness in the defense. It's just uh, like it's it's costing me. It's after costing me two goals there. Kata, go on, Kata. Oh, good save. I should have cut the angle a little bit more. Might still get it though. Money. <laughs> Here we go again, lads. Welcome to the madhouse. Welcome to the madhouse. Yeah, there we go, money. Beautiful. Blow this lad away now. Blow him away. I'm angry. I'm playing angry now. I'm just going to blow him away. I'm going to shoot on sight. Yeah, we know you're going to try the true ball. We're ready for that. Of course we're ready for it. There we go. No messing now, lads. I'm getting my points straight off the bat. Any chance I get, it's going in. I'm warmed up now. I'm warm. The blood is pumping. Lads. Get up. Finish it off. Corona finishes it off. Lads, 
this is such a tense couple of games, I swear. Man, if I got three points in that last episode, it would have been unreal. <sighs> Alright lads, I think we're going to end it there for that episode because I'm going to have a heart attack otherwise. <laughs> couple of tough games couple of really tough games 10 points we could have had 13 lads but we have four games left we have to win every game we have to win every other game um i don't think we're going to do it to be honest with the way things are going but we'll see stranger things have happened lads stranger things have happened but we'll end it there we'll end it there um all right, let's watch the crack. So just before we end this episode, I'm actually going to be training up a couple of players. Um, I forgot to do the commentary on this. I was just testing out and on at my lunch break. So I did boost up Neymar Jr. And obviously you can see here, we've got a lot of trainers. So we boosted him up. And obviously when you do that, certain players have got dynamic images, which is pretty, pretty cool. I like that. I'd like to see them expand on that. I think, what about my boy Corona? He definitely de deserves a featured card like that. But you can see Neymar, lads. He is going to be game-changing for me. I think I was really low on him at the start, but I think he's just been an amazing player for me as we've gone up the divisions. Like, he's just won games for me, um, like, as you've seen in, in past episodes. I think I'm even playing him out of position. You know, he can't play a right midfielder, and I'm playing him there, and his, his rating is going down a good bit, but I'm still getting serious pace out of him and serious... Um, effort from him so yeah i mean 90 acceleration he's got unbelievable feet his tricks everything are, are perfect um so yeah i'm very very happy with neymar i think he's going to be kind of in my my end team if we don't get up to division one um we're probably going to switch to a 4-3-3 i'd like to get up to division one with the default team but that is the stats the way that i've boosted him up now i know that the guys are working on uh creating this you know with the a new uh, feature on eFootball DB, so keep an eye on that as well with the development. You can player progress at the moment, but uh, they need to add the, the team play style. I've also boosted up Maldiners. So Maldini has been a huge pull for me as well since I got him. You've seen a couple of games there where he very rarely makes a mistake, lads, and that's that's what I want. I want solid players. I'm playing three center backs, obviously, uh, with Davies as my kind of left mid, left back mid, left midfielder type player now, as I can get a bit more attacking with Diaz or with Neymar if I play him on that wing. But for Maldini, I kind of focused on his defending, you know, his aerial strength, his defending, and his acceleration. There are the, a the couple of stats. And I do, I must say, lads, I do love um, the fact that the legend players and that aren't completely OP. You know what I mean? I love that they're balanced. Like, you can see Pedri there. Pedri is 89 overall. Um, he's one of the best players in the game. He's not too far behind Ronaldinho in terms of stats when I boost Ronaldinho up here to the to the end game levels. Now, I wanted to make a decision on whether or not I would play quick counter out wide. I was a bit hesitant to have my players in a specific play style, but I think, you know, based on my progress in this series and the fact that I'm really enjoying the way I'm playing, I do think that I'm probably going to stick to an out wide. So I will probably buy a new manager that can play out wide to have a better a better stats. Obviously, I would like Klopp as quick counter and stuff like that. But I think out wide suits me. It suits me defensively. It suits me attacking. It suits me in the middle of the pitch where I can manually play through the middle and not have to focus on quick counter. Um, so we are going to keep out wide there, I think, as that and boost all our players up as, as high as we can possibly put them. Um, you know, I think for an extra four points for his out wide, it's not. Not really worth it i can boost up lesser players to bring up the play style and 100 play style isn't necessarily a must i think once you're over 90 you're probably going to be okay um but correct me if i'm wrong but as far as i know i've seen no real difference in how the players perform you know if you're good you're good and if you have good players you're going to be able to produce with them and again diaz lads you look at his stats right absolutely incredible stats he's been one of my favorite players to use pity he's from the pool because I'm being a United fan, I would have loved a player like that at United, like a proper throwback. Um, and then, of course, we had to boost up my man Corona, lads. No team is complete without this guy. He's gone up from, I think, a 78 or an 80 overall around that to, I think he's going to be like 90 overall by the time I finished him here. I would prefer if he had gotten a card. But as you can see here, his out wide is at 94. So... 
I'm going to give him one to that to boost it up to 99. He'll bring up the squad a little bit better. And then I'm just going to have a mix between his pace, his dribbling, his passing, his lower body strength, um, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, he doesn't have many points to go because obviously everything is taken like three points now. But he's just an all-rounder, lads. He can play defensively. He can play right back. He can play right mid. He can play right wing. He's an absolutely unbelievable player for me, and he's definitely my favorite player. He goes up to an 87, but he does get the boost in as well. Um when we're in playing with this this uh, team play style so yeah i'm happy enough with him i'm happy enough with the team and this was one last game that i played so this game actually i don't know why i didn't have this in the highlights package but this was a really 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 quick game so that's maybe why i probably missed it and as you can see there it is that man himself corona getting us off to the races this was a really quick game um because you'll see with the time left uh, the guy actually did tap out quite quite early and he conceded the game which is which was nice um and we picked up the three points but i think this was one of the earlier games that we played in the season so I'll, I'll just get confirmation of that but yeah everything that you saw in this episode was in was in sequence apart from this game you can see diaz cutting in there again and lads when you're getting breaks like this you do have to you do have to you know you have to score him you have to put him through and you have to score and this guy was giving me back the ball and i was thinking right if i get a second goal here i think i could see this out and just finish the game off and as you can see when you do get the chances like that after rebounds you do have to put them away when it's landed at your lap like that so i was getting a lot of lucky breaks i was getting a lot of lucky kind of like flicks and tricks um i had the players boosted up so obviously that gave me a bit of an advantage as well and this guy's team in fairness he was a bit slow at the back his defenders were a bit slow and when you've got romario running at you and you know you're 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 able to kind of get the ball into those areas um it can be very difficult to stop it doesn't matter how good or bad you are at the game it can be very difficult to stop as you saw here like he gets a rebound okay it's 2-1 game on 20 minutes gone i'm thinking am i in a bad situation here because you know you could see there like i'm trying to defend look you're going to concede goals i covered it in the last episode that i did in episode 16 when we had a really big breakdown and a discussion about that you're going to concede goals you know it's as simple as that there's nothing you can do about it the best players in the world are going to concede them but what about that for a finish from romario and that nearly sealed the game for me 3-1 within 21 minutes and uh romario again being the main man lads he is without a doubt i think you know i know corona is my my guy and all that and neymar has been amazing pedro's probably been the best player overall but i think romario has been the biggest game changer like he's actually super overpowered he scores literally he scores every game like for me he's probably scored about like 50 or 60 goals if not more um for me and everything goes through him like everything goes through him and ronaldinho see the pass in here quick turn misses the pass misses the turn gets it back this guy is going to be in a bit of bother here and then <clears throat> he's going to go on to counter attack and what i'm waiting for is again to pass it straight to ronaldinho a little flicky little tricky into pedri ronaldinho's got acres of space keep the ball moving and romario's gone look at the movement he gets in here again look at that hassling 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 putting him under serious pressure lads and always just not letting him be pinned back not letting him pin me back press forward good tackle that's when you can get lucky press forward good tackle again from corona who's playing as a right back out to Neymar, into Ronaldinho, and we go again. And this time, eventually, eventually, you have to get through if you keep, keep persevering, Romario. And what about that for a finish into the bottom corner? And this guy had enough of that. So, yeah, lads, that is it just for the last episode. I hope you're enjoying these series. I think by now that season two will be underway um, or close to being underway. So, I think there is going to be a bit of downtime from what I know. Um, I think there's going to be like three or four days where the servers are going to be kind of offline. Divisions are going to be offline until season two. So yeah, I, I don't know. I'm not confirming that, but I think that's what I've heard. So that was the second game that I played, lads. Game three of season two. So just to keep you up to track with that. But yeah, don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Let me know in the comments below how ye are fine in eFootball. And let me know what you think about season two and the news about that. Until next time, lads. Peace.